So I've been uh, somewhat of a vocal critic uh, of WooCommerce uh, for a lot of reasons. One, I've just seen a lot of companies struggle with it. They try and use it. It doesn't really help them drive the business forward. I mean, I think at a small stage it can work, but if you're really trying to become a really successful e-commerce business, usually companies kind of outgrow WooCommerce. They might go to a Shopify or a Magento, a big commerce, or even some of the big enterprise platforms like a uh, a Hybris or a Salesforce Commerce Cloud and there's a lot of other platforms out there. So the main reason I don't like it is because it's not actually an e-commerce platform. It's literally a plug-in to WordPress. So it's kind of like a band-aid for e-commerce for the WordPress ecosystem, which can serve its purpose in certain scenarios. Maybe if you're mostly content and you just want to sell a couple little things on your WordPress site, that might make sense. Um, but if you're really trying to focus on e-commerce and scale and become a big e-commerce business, you don't really want to have something that's just kind of like an add-on to another system. Um, and that add-on doesn't have that much functionality in, in it relative to the other e-commerce platforms uh, that are the mainstream e-commerce platforms. Uh, and with that being said, then oftentimes you need to install a lot of other plugins to get what you need. And then all of a sudden, I mean, we've seen scenarios where people have 50, 60, 70 plugins and it's just like impossible to manage all of them and, and they're all conflicting. and they're all built by these different third parties and you don't know how good they are and they might, they're not all like tested against each other. Um, so you just become, it becomes this plug-in mess um, that we see when you try and scale to a certain size. Um, the other thing is that the, the, the database architecture, the way that they've kind of structured it is, you know, products and uh, orders and all that is kind of mashed into the whole like content side of things. So it's kind of all mashed together and not really kind of architected in this um, kind of, you know, more enterprise way that a lot of the more modern platforms are architected that allow you to scale to lots of orders and uh, customers and, and uh, volume that you need with e-commerce. Um, so those are some of the main reasons that I'm not really a, a fan uh, of the platform. And uh, oh, lastly, before I forget, uh, it's pretty weak with catalog management. It doesn't have great you know, product managements compared to some of the other platforms. And it's also pretty weak with customer management and order management, which are pretty key and important components to an e-commerce platform. So that's my take. Uh, let me know, comment if you think I'm wrong. Definitely like to hear other people's opinions and perspectives.